PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools. How are we all going today? Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing all right on my side of the world. Anyway, so what's the old get going on about today? Well, I've had a bit of inquiries from you guys about the Cut 55DS from Yes Welder. You want to know what sort of air pressure is needed to run this machine. So what I thought I'd do today, we'll have a bit of a laugh. I'll see if we can run this machine on this little air compressor here. I mean, I run a huge, well, I wouldn't say huge. I run a three and a half horsepower air compressor in my workshop. And I run it through quite a large holding tank. But not everyone's got a large compressor, of course. Most of you guys have got something like this to pump up the tyres on your car or whatever. So, let's give it a go. See if we can actually cut some steel with a little compressor like this. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. And let's get into it, eh? So, guys, we just got our little experiment going here. I love playing with things. So, we've got our Yes Welder Plasma Cutter here. And we've got a really basic compressor here. This compressor's about, I don't know, what, about $130, something like that. So we'll kick this thing in the guts. It'll take a little while to get up there. We need to get about 60 PSI on the gauge here. And then we'll give it a crack, Nigel, and try and cut something. What do you reckon? Do you reckon it's going to go? Right, guys, I've got this set at about 110 PSI on the gauge here, and we're poking out about 100 PSI there. So if we back this down to about 60, then we should be about right. And here we go. So we want about 60, guys. About there looks good to me. So we've got about 60 there. We've got the tank set at about 105. And we're running about 60 here as well. Right, let's kick the old yes welder plasma cutter on the guts. See what happens. <laughs> Righty only. Turn them on. So we've got this fired up now. We are going to be cutting on 2T mode and I'm going to cut at 55 amps. Like I say, we're about 60 psi here. Now, guys, I wouldn't really expect much out of this little air compressor here. But it just depends what you want to use your plasma cutter for. I'll give you an example. Now, if you guys are looking at cutting something like this, just like three millimeter plate, it's still quite thick, of course. Yeah, well, they hurt. <laughs> it's still quite thick, and you can still manufacture stuff out of it, like trailers and that sort of stuff. But if you wanted to go quite thick, then you're going to have real issues with this. But if you only want to cut stuff like this, or you want to cut off bolts or other bits and pieces, only the light, in other words, the light work, I think you might be able to get away with it. But anyway, I haven't tried it on this machine, so let's have a go. Once again, guys, with these little plasma cutters, put your earth as close to what you're cutting as possible. Otherwise, you're going to lose a little bit of power, and you don't have that much extra power to play with to start off with. All right, let's see if this little compressor can handle anything at all. It might not even work at all. So there you go guys, see that it restarted again, we're running back up to 100 psi, but we did manage to cut through this. You know what I mean? So like I say, it just depends what you want it for. If you want to cut big huge sheets of metal, this is going to be no good. But if you want to just cut off bolts, rusty bolts and stuff like that, or you're working on your car, just cutting out panels and that sort of stuff, with quite short runs, it worked, didn't it? Let's see how thick we can actually cut. Right here, guys, we've got five millimeters now. So this little compressor will probably struggle at five millimeters. But anyway, we'll give it a crack, Nigel, and we'll see what happens, eh? Now, before I do this, guys, I'll show you a little trick. If you're only cutting short lengths like this and you've got a limited amount of air, what I would do is back this down from 60. I'd go like to maybe 50 PSI, and it just gives the little compressor just that little bit more time to react. So if I back that down, here we go, here we go, what are we on? I'll go down a little bit more. Got it back down to 50 PSI, guys. Let's try cutting it, eh? Right here, guys, let's try cutting it. Yeah! Yeah. 
Now, notice the length of cut here, guys. Because we're, ow, whoa, whoa. Because we're cutting a lot thicker, it uses a lot more air to push the plasma through because we're trying to go through a, a thicker barrier, in other words. So you just notice that distance compared to this distance here. You know what I mean? So we've got three times as long of a cut out of the same amount of air from this little compressor because the metal is thinner. So in other words, the thicker you're trying to cut, the more air you're going to have to have constantly at a pressure. So the ideal pressure for this machine would be between 50 and 65 PSI if you're running at 55 amps. And at 55 amps you should be able to cut 10 mil steel. But only if you have the air supply. Like I said before, the less air you've got, then the thinner you're going to have to cut. And the shorter time that it'll allow you to cut for as well. Anyway guys, that was my little experiment for what it was worth. So, if you've always wanted to get into plasma cutting, but you thought, oh, I can't get into that peak because I just don't have a big compressor and I don't have the, the money to buy a big compressor, just look around your workshop because chances are you got one of these hiding in the corner that you haven't used for years and then it'll just get you started and it'll give you a taste of plasma cutting and once you've got a taste of plasma cutting, there's no way you'll go back, guys. Anyway, it's enough bullshit from me for the day, guys. Same as usual, if you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below. Be sure to check out my new YouTube channel if you're interested in where I live. Remember to subscribe and do all that wonderful things. And we'll see you next time, eh? With more useless information. Bye. PeachTools.com